All right. Yeah, the hot type. For those of you who are not here this morning, we are in section five. We are now on page 107. Um, if you need to figure out those problems from earlier, just uh, check out the video we made for class. All right, I'm on problem seven. Who did not get a chance to do a problem this morning? All right, how about Kim Sai, can you read this problem, please? Yes, uh, the to total mass of two similar uh, clay, clay. Pots. clay pots and two similar metal pots was 13.2 kilogram. The mass of one such clay pot was three items. The mass the mass of a metal pot what the mass of a clay pot. All right, so this one's a bit confusing. Hannah, you said you got an answer already? Yes. Really? What'd you get? Yeah, I know the answer. Hold on. What'd you put, Hannah? The answer, or we have to do, or I just tell. Oh, how yeah, close. just what what'd you put as your answer? I just want to. My answer, I put 19.8. 19 19.8 kilograms? 19.8 um, kilograms. Yeah. All right, Vitu, what did you write? Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Did too, you got an answer already? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, the first, I do. I do. I do. I do, I do, I do Tell do, me what uh, your answer is. I don't have an answer. It's too confusing. I'm just talking to V2. If your name is not V2, you are interrupting. V2, what's your answer? Uh, I don't know, but I do. <laughs> but I do. The first one I do uh, get two plus two is four, and then to divide by thirteen point two kilogram, and then we get an answer. Then we uh, all right. Hold on. By three. <laughs> I just, you said you had an answer already. I just want to make sure that no, that's I not work. All right, that's fine. Um, Kim Sai, let's go back to this thing. All right, we've got two similar clay pots. This word similar means these are like the same kind of pot. So they're going to be the same size. And then we also yes. have two metal pots. Those are also the same size. So a grand total for everything is... 13.2 kilograms. All right. Um, also, let's look at my picture that I have going here, okay, kids? Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces in my picture. Why did I do that? All right. Let's look at this sentence here. It says, the mass of one such clay pot is three times the mass of a metal pot, okay? So I, uh, here's what I did, all right? I got these two metal pots over here. These are kind of small, okay? And then I got these clay pots. These clay pots are three uh, times the size of each of these metal pots. That's why I divided them into, uh, three parts because they are three times the size. So this one was a little bit tricky. 
So each of these clay pots is three times the size of each of these metal pots. So uh, the first thing I did is figure out what a metal pot was. Kim Sai, do you think you can help us? What should we do next? Our grand total is 13.2. So we need to figure out what one metal pot is first. Um, we get, uh, we get all of them fast. Well, we know what the total is. We just want to know one eighth of this total. Um, so we multiply. No, we can't multiply. Kids, just remember, you can't get bigger than the total, okay? This is the biggest our numbers are going to get. So this 19.8 is probably not going to work as an answer. That sounds like it is too big because we, we just want to figure out the mass of one clay pot. How much does one clay pot weigh? All right, I've got 13.2 here, and I've got eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to divide by eight. Oh. Okay, this one's a little yep. confusing. All right, so Kim Sai, how many eights can we fit into the number 13? One. One teacher. One teacher. Okay. And 13 minus 8 is? Um, is 5. Okay. And then we bring down our next number. We can just pretend like this decimal point is not here, but make sure you put it in your answer row. Um, All right. How many 8s can we fit into 52? Um, we put 6. All right. It's Six times eight is 48. All right, what's 52 minus 48? Is four. Four, okay, so in this case, I can just add a zero, okay? And it's still 13.2, but now it's just 13.20, so. Let's bring the oh, zero so, down. So it's 1.65. Perfect. OK. And then if we subtract this out, this will end up being zero. All right. So now we have 1.65. What does that tell us? Tell of, of the total. All right. This just tells us the mass of one metal pot here. We've got clay pots oh. and metal pots. Here, this is kind of a lot of writing. So this is 1.65. All right, so let's go back to this sentence here, Kim Sai. It says the mass of one such clay pot is three times the size of the mass metal pot. So I know that a metal pot weighs 1.65 kilos. So what? How do we, what should we do with this number 1.65? Um, we got, uh, we, we get 1.65 multiplied with 3. Perfect. All right. Yes, it is three times the size or not the size, the weight of the metal pot. So if we multiply by three, we will get the size uh, of one of these things here. Four okay? point nine five. All right, three times five is 15. Six oh, yeah, one. 18. And 19. One times three is three. Sorry, what'd you say, 4.95? Yes. Perfect. And we are measuring kilograms, so we should have 4.95 kilos.
All right, let's make sure that our answer makes sense. If I have, I've got two clay pots and each of those clay pots is 4.95. There's two pots. And I've also got two metal pots and each of those metal pots is 100, oh, I'm sorry, 1.65. Who is playing video games? Oh, hi. <laughs> Kim Sai, sword fighting? All right, can we add all these up, kids? 4.95 plus 4.95 plus 1.65 plus 1.65 is what? It's how I got an answer. What's I've your answer? 13.22. 13.22, like this? I know the answer. Did you know zero, zero, zero? Two, two, yes, zero. Be zero. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Do we see now that we have our total 13.2? kilos is the same as 13.20 kilos. So our math looks good. We have checked our work. I think we did a good job. And I know this is a little bit messy, but that's okay. And it's okay if yours are messy as well. All right, let's look at the next page. I'm going to erase this. Is that okay, kids? Yes, Mina Hill. Can I do the next um, question? Sure. Did you do one this morning or no? That's all right. Go for it. All right, can you read number eight first? James spent a total of $12.06 on five uh, identical five identical pens and a ruler. A ruler cost one one dollar point thirty cents less than a pen. How much did each pen cost? All right. So we have Jamie. Jamie spent eleven dollars sixty cents on five identical pens and a ruler. What does identical mean? Same. All right. Yes. Like if you have an identical twin sister then you would have someone that looks exactly the same. So uh, identical just means these are the same kinds of pens, okay? They are all the same color, all the same size. They look the same. All right, what, should, what do you think we should do here, Mina Hill? Um, we should uh, get the details. Okay, what do we know? We know he spent $11.60. All right, that's a good start. That's our total, $11.60, all right. What else do we know? Um, and we buy a ruler for $1.30 less. Okay. Mm. 
All right, and we're trying to figure out how much one pen costs. So we have a weird way of doing this one, I think. Did you come up with an answer for this already, Mina Hill, or you just wanted to try it? I didn't do this at the lunch. That's okay. This one's kind of confusing also. All right, so we have five pens and one ruler. All right, um, this ruler, this one's kind of confusing because we don't know how much this ruler costs, um, but we know that it is 130 less than a pen, okay? So um, if we had uh, a ruler plus 130, that would equal one pen, yes? All right, so here's what I did. Um, I actually just added 130 here. Mina Hill, can you tell us how much $11.60 plus 130 is? Two point. Two point nine zero? No, sorry. Twelve point nine zero. There you go. All right. So yeah, we've got six and three is nine. There's your decimal point. All right. So yes, we've got twelve dollars and ninety cents. What does that equal? We had uh so here's what I had you do. I had you add back this extra one dollar thirty cents. All right, because a ruler plus one hundred plus one dollar thirty cents will equal one pen. So now we have the price of one, two, three, four, five, and then this is our six pen. So twelve ninety equals the price of six pens. So what should we do with our twelve ninety here? We want to know the price of one pen, of each pen. I think divide. I think you are correct. What should we divide? The uh, 12.90 divided by six. Okay, sounds good. And then we will have the price of one pen because we know the price of six pens. We just want to know what one pen is. All right. You kids, let me know when you have an answer. I know the answer. All right. What do you think, Vitu? The answer is two point two point one five. Two point one. Five. Do we agree, Mina Hill? I agree with it too. You agree? Um, I agree too. All right, kids, let's make sure this makes sense. If each pen costs two dollars fifty cents, uh I'm sorry, $2.15. How much does a ruler cost? Can we figure that out? I guess, yeah. Let's look at this sentence. A ruler costs $1.30 less than a pen. So if we know how much a ruler costs, can we, I'm sorry, if we know how much a pen costs, can we find the price of a ruler? Yes. What do we think it is? It just answer. I think it's zero point eighty five. I think it's zero point eighty five. All right. Yes. 
So yeah, if we know that a pen costs $2.15 and a ruler costs $1.30 less than that, we should subtract. And yeah, I think we get 85 cents. All right, and now let's keep checking our work. So we have five pens. Actually, I'm gonna type this up. This will be a lot faster. All right, so here's my math problem to check my work. If we have five pens, one, two, three, four, five, they each cost $2.15. And I also have a ruler that costs uh, 85 cents. If we add all these up, Whoa. we should have our total. Yeah. So we have to add that one again? Yeah, just to check. Sorry, Vissal, did you have a question? What's the answer, Vitu? The answer is 11.50. 11 point what? Uh, 11.60. Are you sure? If you get 11.50, it means maybe we made no, a mistake. I'm confused. Okay. But I got 11.60. Okay. Yeah, I got 11.60 tools. 30. Me one, two, three, four, five, eight, and eight is 16. All right, so yes, it seems like we are okay. 11.60, we should get $11.60, which is what we started with, yeah? All right, sorry, Vissal, what was your question? Divide with two forgot zero. You forgot a zero? Yeah, and the floor. Hmm. Six divided by one is zero. Six divided by but one. Oh, you mean here? Yeah, six divided by one is zero. All right, yeah. well, no, all right, yeah, that's true. But I just put it into 12 here because 12 divided by two is six, or six, six times two is divide by one. If we cannot, we cannot fit any ones here. I'm sorry, we cannot fit any sixes into our one because one is smaller than six. But yes, if we're just doing this in dollars and cents, we should have a dollar sign here. $2.15. So uh, our actual, our answer here though, should be how much did each pen or does one pen cost? Okay, so our answer should be $2.15. And I know this is messy, that's all right. Just write it down. All right, kids, number nine. Visal, you wanna try number nine, please? Yes. Okay. Let's just read this first. The total district from this this house to his school was nine point one eight kilometers. He traveled by bus uh, by bus for part of the journey. So, Jewelry. Jewelry. I'm walking 
sternly and walking raised off the way. The distance, distance. the walking was seven point nine uh, seven point nine five kilometers less than the district of uh, he traveled travel by bus how where did Timothy's Timothy walk all right so we've got a boy Timothy. named Timothy all right Timothy is going from his house to his school all right this all how far is it from his house to his school um Nine point one eight kilometers. 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 Yes, nine point one eight kilometers. All right. And then it says part of the way he was on the bus, and part of the way he walked. All right. So then it says, how much did he walk? Seven one ninety five kilometer. Less, less than. All right, so he did not walk seven point nine five kilometers. He walked seven point nine five kilometers less than how he got by bus. So, what does that mean we should do, Isal? Um, that's up, that's up. The total is 9.18, oh. and it says he walked 7.95 less. Should we add or subtract? Minus. Or minus? Okay, yes. Subtract, subtract or minus. All right, so this one is actually pretty straightforward. There's not too many steps in this problem. We just have a kid and he traveled a total distance. So they give you the total and then they let you know that he traveled 7.95 kilometers less than the distance he traveled by bus. So this 7.95 is actually how far he traveled on the bus. So we want to know how far did Timothy walk? What do we think? Teacher, teacher, um, we should yes. minus it. Hmm? We should minus it. One yeah. point, one point three three. One point three three. One point two three. Yeah. One point two three. All right, yeah, let's make sure. All right, we change this to an eight. But 11, what's 11 minus 9, Visa? Oh, um, two, 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 two. All right. So, yes, we should get 1.23. And what are we measuring, Visa? What? What are we measuring? Your favorite word know. that starts with a K. Kilometer. Kilometer. All right. Yes. 1.23 kilometers. All right. How far did he walk? 1.3 kilometers. Teacher, what? Look, uh, TV, he don't learn. Hmm? What? Look, uh, TV. Roth is on TV. Yeah. Are you following along? Oh, he's gotten it all written down. Vissal, is yours written down? All right. Um, we don't have enough time to start another lesson. How about I'm going to give you kids a bonus math problem. Let's see. Rosa, can you read this for us? This word, MD. Madame. 
Who? Rosa. Xin chào cô Linh Thà. Em gì em? Madam. Madam Aziza. Madam Aziza, you six seven six point five dollars to her five children. The money was shared equally among them. How much did a child receive? Receive. That means how much money did each person get? So Rosa, what do you think we should do? We have this wonderful lady, Madame Assisa. She has $76.50. She's got five children. Time. Sorry, say that again. Time. Time. No, so $76.50 is our total. And we have five kids. So our number cannot be any bigger than $76.50. It should be getting smaller. We want to know how much one child received for each kid. She shared it equally. She's got five kids. Let's try to divide this, okay? Do we think we can figure this out? What is 76.50 divided by five? Colin, do you have an answer already? Yes. What'd you get? Uh, one, one, Sorry, say that again. One five point three zero. One five point three zero. Okay, let me see. Hold on. Do, 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 do. All right, 15.30 sounds good to me. Um, any questions? All right, don't worry, this no. is not on. No. This is not in your homework, I don't believe, right? Okay. And your, your section ends at number nine, right? Okay, I mean, yes. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot, kids. What? Where is Terry? Terry, you had a question about a crossword puzzle, right? Yes, I do. Okay, let me pull that up. Sorry, what was your question? Do we remember the question or you just had trouble with some of these answers? Hello, where did she go? All right, just remember kids, when you're dealing with this, I'm not sure how big this is. Maybe this is not big enough for you to see. I will make it a little bigger. All right, so we have comparatives and superlatives, meaning you will get a lot of words ending in ER and a lot of words ending in EST, as in fastest or faster or slower or slowest. 
All right. Um, Terry, you still here? Yes. All right. Which ones were you having trouble with? 24. 24. Across. Okay. 24 across. Blood is, oh, um, so this is actually a saying in English. We're going to cut off. We have less than a minute. It should just say blood is thicker. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. Blood is thicker than water. And we're going to cut off. We can continue this later, though. If you have any more questions, I'm happy to answer them, OK? Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. All right, bye-bye, kids. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.